Hey you guys, it's Juliana Abden, AKA Fit Mom Joy here this evening. Sorry I'm a little later than normal with my video tonight, but my little girl actually had preschool graduation tonight and she did awesome. Usually she cries and gets upset every time she has to sing in front of a group of people, but tonight she went through the whole thing smiling and happy. So it was crazy awesome. But I am just getting back to work and I wanted to stop and let you guys know how my fast went today. It was pretty much the same as yesterday. It was okay last night. Um, today I actually wanted to chug through till 4 p.m. to get the extra two hours of fasting in to see if it made me feel any different. But at 2 p.m. I was done. I needed some food. I could actually feel my mood starting to get really like bad and I didn't want to yell at anybody so I decided to eat some food. It was in the best interest of my family and my coworkers. and yes. So I had some chicken and I had a sweet potato and they were delicious and actually you know what they filled me up just a little bit a little bit of food filled me up because my stomach had shrunk so much during the time that I was fasting it didn't take much. So I had that and then I didn't eat again until I got to work today and I had a snack and I was uh, satisfied with that so I want to tell you some of the benefits that I've seen and some of the benefits that other people have seen from fasting from intermittent fasting sometimes people do it for maybe three days in a row and then they go back to their normal eating schedule sometimes people do it for 24 hours and then they go back to their normal eating schedule so it really just depends on what's best for you what's best for your body, which is the same with any kind of diet plan or nutrition plan or workout. Um, for me, I found that my cravings went down for the first, like last night, I didn't have as many cravings as I did the first time. I found that my um, appetite shrunk. So like I said before, I was able to get full uh, with less food, which is good. So it's good for weight loss. If you want to um, lose a little bit of weight before bikini season because it's getting here really 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 fast um, you can do practice some intermittent fasting maybe a couple of days a week and get a workout in while you're fasting I did my workout this morning while I was fasting so um, it wasn't too bad I, I didn't get lightheaded or dizzy or anything like that like some people do when they don't eat before they work out I felt I felt pretty good and actually afterward I um, I felt really good so again I feel like it gave me more energy to get my workout in for some reason it's weird how that works you think food is gonna give you more energy but I think my body just used the fat that's already there and burned that fat during my workout and used it used it for energy so um, I'm definitely seeing that that's a plus um, also a lot of people find that their body uses the insulin in their body more efficiently when they fast so and that helps with weight loss too so if you um, have any issues like if you are a diabetic or anything like that definitely check with your doctor before you do something like an intermittent fast or any kind of fasting just to make sure that they can kind of plan that out with you and make sure it's okay um, yeah so it was an interesting ride I uh, I enjoyed it from now on I think I think I will add some aspects of the fasting into my regular daily meal plan and routine I think I will add in um, cutting food off at a certain time during the night. I think that was a good thing. I might stretch it a little bit after 8 p.m. I work till 1 a.m. in the morning, you guys. So I kind of need a little sustenance in between 8 p.m. and the 1 a.m. mark. So I'd probably add one extra snack in there, just something small like carrot sticks or just something that I can munch on. Um, but I think probably maybe like 10 p.m. I would cut it off and start my overnight fast, which we all kind of do, but I think I would start my overnight fast at 10 p.m. And then I really liked the morning fast and fasting before my workout. And probably right after my workout is when I would have my shake um, just to get something in my stomach after the workout so I wouldn't feel um, queasy or my stomach wouldn't get upset. Um, and so I could get that protein in my body right after the workout. So I will probably keep my nighttime fast and I'll probably keep my morning time fast because I really saw the benefits then. During the day, I'll probably go back to my normal eating routine of um, every two to three hours 
eating something to keep my energy up because I definitely see more benefits doing that during the day because I'm super busy I have a really long day and I just I need a little something to keep me going during the day so it was neat to see what I could handle and what I couldn't handle and what's best for my body and which totally may be different than what's best for your body you could go the 18 hours every day or three days a week and be totally fine with it. And that's that's cool too. It's just whatever is best for you. I think I'm gonna go ahead and create a meal plan around um, doing some fasting during the nighttime and during the morning time. So if you guys are interested in any kind of meal plan that I make with that in it, just let me know below. I also make normal meal plans too. I have a ton of them. If you guys want any clean eating meal plans, I can give those to you. Um, just let me know below. Or you can send me a message on my website. It's www.julianaabden.com. Just let me know if you would like a meal plan and I will send it right out to you. I think from now on, my videos next week, I think they're gonna be earlier in the day, you guys. Just so I can get them in and I'm not pushing it too late. So I think I'll do them earlier in the day and then I'll go ahead and repost them at night so you guys can see them. Um, I'm thinking about doing some different topics. If you guys have any suggestions about what you want to see, I'm a girl mom. I have two little girls. So I'm thinking about doing some informational videos around that. Um, their room is a mess right now. So I'm pretty much thinking I may do a series based on organizing your kids' rooms. If that's something that sounds interesting to you, let me know, and I will do videos showing you my kids' horrible, um, awful, disorganized room, and we'll go through it and we'll organize it together. So let me know if you'd be interested in that, and for now, signing out. Have a good night, guys. See you later.